This is the grade eight math practice test for T and ready. Currently question number 20. We'll see how it goes in the future. Raul recorded, recorded the height in inches and weight in pounds. Ugh, that was gross. Raul recorded the height in inches and weight in pounds of each of his soccer team members. Then he graphed the data in the scatter plot shown. So they're going to ask me in a second about the data, but I'm just going to take a general look like I would look at any graph. I want to look at the axis labels. The x-axis is height, so you'll see height increase. And then weight is in the vertical axis, so this is the dependent variable, the way it's set up. So, and I can see that the dots, as they move to the right, tend to move up a little bit. So the question says, which three statements, and that's big, they've bold, they put a bold there for a reason. If you only have two penciled in, you're probably wrong. So just be aware, have three answers. Which three statements about the scatter plot of the data are true? M says the data has a linear association, which would mean it would be a line. Not that far off, to be honest. Um, P, the data has a positive association, which all positive means is that the two factors change in the same way. So if one increases, the other one increases. Um, technically, if one decreases, the other decreases as well. But when we have it set up like this, just look for both of them going up. The data have a negative association, which is to say when one goes up, the other goes down. So you'll see them start to drop over time. And then as the height increases, so does the weight. And the data are clustered about the height 55 inches. Um, we can throw some of these out basically immediately. Here's 55 inches. The data is not clustered there. It's clustered over here. So this is obviously not correct. See you later, T, you're out. Um, as the height increases, so does the weight. That looks pretty good. You'll notice that as these values tend to move in this direction um, of increased height, the weight tends to go up as well. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to tentatively circle it. The data has a negative association. No. <laughs> Negative association, again, would mean as one goes up, the other goes down, but height increases as does weight, so they're both going up, so that's out. So these have to be true. The data has a positive association, which means as one increases, the other one does. That totally maps out. I mean, it matches exactly what I'm seeing, so that's great. The data has a linear association. It doesn't mean that it's, like, they're pretty well grouped around this. Lie to yourself and pretend the line is straight. I get it's so curvy that it can't be a line. Whatever. Um, but they're generally pretty close. It would be very obvious. It would just be dots everywhere with no... It would, a circle of dots is not linear. It would be all over the place, and you couldn't really... It'd be difficult to make a line. Some down here. It, there'd be, it would go up here and then way down here, and then it's a mess. That's what a nonlinear association looks like. This is definitely meets the requirements for being linear. It probably wouldn't, as you move in on in math, you'll see that uh, like you'll have a correlation coefficient, which tells you how close to a line they are. This wouldn't be that far off. It would be not exactly a perfect line, but much better. So if you see linear and you think line, you're like, well, that's not a line. They're kind of all over the place. As long as it's relatively close in a scatter plot, you're good to go. So the answers Again, are, they are linear, so the data has a linear association, so that's M. They're positive, so P works just fine. Uh, they're not negative. And the height increases, so does the weight, so S is also a correct answer. Just make sure when you do this type of problem that you check all the answers to make sure that they either meet the criteria or they don't, and have the number of statements that they're asking for identified. That will be helpful.